February's prep of the month is going to be food. And um, I'm going to show you my preps as far as food goes. I'm not real proud of them. I don't have the kind of storage that I wish I had to, uh, to do the food preps that I need to do. But I'm going to talk about what I'm doing and the logic, if it is logic, that I use to uh, explain. Now, I'm a bug inner if that's such a thing and my plan A is bugging in and therefore I really lean toward canned foods I think prepping canned foods makes a lot of sense because face it if you're just prepping for some sort of apocalypse then you're really missing the boat and you're probably never going to realize what you're prepping for at least I hope you don't but if you're prepping for uh, weather phenomenon, hurricanes, floods, um, you know, uh, grid down, all those kind of situations like me, and you look at pr uh, bugging in as your plan A, then canned foods really make a lot of sense. Canned foods are inexpensive, they're easy to get, and it's pretty self-explanatory how to do the the, the storage and know how long the shelf life is. Each one of these comes with a little best by uh, date and a little uh, eat by date. And what I do when I get a can is I go ahead and I write down the expiration date, year, the ex expiration year on the top of it. Now is that a hard and fast thing? No. But it helps me as I do my rotation to know which I need to eat next. Now what you see here is a bunch of canned meat products. Canned vegetables, actually I think they're fairly easy and I don't plan on doing a video on them. With the exception of the tomatoes because of the acidic content, canned vegetables have a really good lifespan. They just sit there. They can go way past their date. You don't have to worry about them. And, and I, think, I think it's, it's kind of the easiest part of, of um, prepping canned foods. But meat is another thing. Uh, from what I've read and from what I've seen, meat can go bad quicker. And also, think about this. You could eat dandelions. You could eat grass. You know, you could, you could be eating um, um, all kind of plants. You could have a garden. But meat may be a problem. And a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to hunt. Well, so is every other jack going to be out there hunting. And after a while, you're going to be you know, eating garbage panda, which is fine. I've had a raccoon. Greasy, but it's not terrible. But my point is, I think you should, you should prep canned meats. I prep canned meats, and I tend to prep what I like to eat because I don't just grab this stuff and stick it up there and wait for it to get to expiration date. I eat this stuff regularly. And I just got a kind of a cross-section of stuff here. One thing I did find interesting, if you get into the deviled ham, which is uh, really just fancy potted meat, if you buy the individual uh, deviled hams, they have that tear-off lid. But if you buy the six-pack, they don't. They come with a regular lid, which I understand these are a lot more likely to, uh, to have something go wrong than these, so I'd rather have this, um, where you have to use a can opener. And folks, buy can openers. They're cheap. Buy several of them. So anyway, if you want deviled ham, and I like deviled ham. I'm about to eat some of it. Um, buy the six packs and get it without the little pull top. Now the pull top, I understand that because there's a, there's a crimp there to make it easy to pull it off, there's a lot better chance of you doing something, like say piling other cans on top of this on the shelf and causing this to uh, break the seal. And once it breaks the seal, the stuff's going bad. So I'm really not fond of the pull cans, but I bought a couple of them um, just to show you what you can get. Now then you got the old key type. Um, this stuff's been around forever. These key types, oh man, I, I don't know how old these, this type of can goes back, but it goes pretty far. I would think you still have a kind of a weak spot there. 
but at least it's on the side so there's less chance that you know if I hit that real hard I could break that seal but less likely I'm gonna break that seal but I'm going to try to buy cans that are regular old cans with no perforation no kind of uh, cheap to get into it and I'm gonna get plenty of can openers now again I say I buy what I like to eat and I like all these things the only thing I haven't tried this yet. This, this I have my doubts about. Which, by the way, I got all this stuff at Walmart. Uh, I'm going to try this, but I have my doubts about it. I also don't, don't care much for Vienna sausage. Not only does it have the little weak perforation type can. I um, liked them when I was a boy, but I've, I've gotten over them. Instead, I'm going to try to prep this kind of stuff. Um, the chicken. And you can also get the chicken without the perforations. The roast beef. Now you'll notice you don't see any fish here. Now I love me some sardines, I love me some mackerel and stuff like that, but because I live on the water and because part of my preps involve um, fishing gear and, and nets and stuff like that, I figure I'll spend my very, very uh, um, valuable shelf space on stuff that I can't get any other way.